Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In a previous video, we used Auto NLP to fine tune models on a movie review dataset to build a sentiment analysis application. And after a little while, we got um, a pretty good model with 94.08 accuracy. And, uh, and we took a look at this model on the hub. Okay. And I quickly showed you, you know, we could deploy it in different ways. And uh, of course we could use it with the transformers library and we could also run it in, uh, in a notebook. Okay. But let's go one step further and let's go, uh, let's a prototype web app that, um, uses this model so that we could show how the model works to uh, business stakeholders or, or maybe, you know, uh, clients and, you know, generally show a web application that we could get feedback on and iterate on to give them a better sense of, okay, this is how the model works. Uh, and this is what it could look like in our app instead of showing them uh, notebooks, which, you know, don't tell the full story. Right? And this is probably not what they would like to see anyway. Okay. So let's do this. Um, so how do we do this? So first I'm going to go to my hugging face account. And I'm going to create a new space. Okay. And a space is going to be, uh, again, a web app implemented with a streamlit or Gradio, as you can see here, um, that you displays a, a user interface where we can enter data and predict with our model. And it's very little code. So, you know, I'm, I'm really terrible at writing uh, any kind of front end code. So I'm hoping this is easy enough and friendly enough for me to use. So let's go and check it out. I'm going to name this IMDB demo space. I'm going to use a uh, radio, which is really, I think the simplest way. And I can either make this public or private. So I'm going to keep it public and create the space. Right. So we haven't done much so far. We've just created this. And of course, now we're going to add some code in a GitHub repo. So let's just create this empty repo here. Right. So there's just a readme here. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't say much. And we need to add our code in the app.py file. Okay, so there's kind of a placeholder file here. And then we just commit and push and see what happens. Okay. Uh, and we can add dependencies with a, a requirement.txt file. But in the interest of time, I've already written that code. So let me show you what it looks like. And as promised, it's really very little code. So we import PyTorch. Um, NumPy, Gradio, and the Transformer library. Okay. Then we just grab the tokenizer and the model from, uh, from the hub. Okay. And then we write a small function to predict. Okay. So this function will receive, um, a review, a movie review. And well, as usual, we're going to tokenize it with the, the pre-trained tokenizer. We're going to predict with it using our model. And this will output um, uh, log it. So, you know, raw predictions, but I'd like to show, um, you know, probability style result. Okay. So I'm going to apply the softmax function and softmax function will basically make sure that the two numbers, the two outputs for the positive and the negative class add up to one. Okay. So that makes them look like probabilities. And okay. So at this point, uh, I've applied the softmax function. I convert this torch tensor to numpy array. And so now I have a numpy array with two numbers. Um, one, the first one is for the negative class and the second one is for the positive class. And I want the, the, the larger one of the two, right? So I use numpy argmax to find the index of the largest number in the numpy array. And then I grab that score. Okay. 
And then I just uh, return a text string that says this review is XX percent positive or negative. Okay, depending of course on the the actual uh, the actual uh, prediction here. All right, so super simple code. Uh, you can you can test this uh, on your laptop. It you know uh, it's super nice. It's completely independent from the actual UI, right? And the only UI code I really need here, right? And okay, granted, this is the uh, probably the smallest example you could build. Uh, and you can certainly be, build, you know, nicer things. And I certainly hope so. <laughs> certainly hope you can build nicer things. But for me, this is good enough right now. So I'm just creating an interface with um, two text boxes, one input and one output. And, uh, you know, you already guessed what's going to happen. The input is going to be the movie review. And then I'm going to click on a button and it's going to call the predict function that we wrote here. And it's going to output the, the return value of the prediction. And then we build the interface. Okay, and that's absolutely it, right? So uh, is that even UI code? Yeah, probably not. So, you know, I guess I'm, I'm happy with this. All right, so uh, I have, uh, so let me copy this file to my repo. And uh, yeah, I have a requirement file as well. And what's in that one? Yeah, torch and transformers. I guess that's easy enough. And now, so uh, in this repo, I have those two new files. I'm gonna add them, submit them, and of course, push them. Okay, so after maybe 30 seconds, um, the page is up and running. And let's go and try some reviews. Go with the negative one first. Yep, this is a negative review. So see what happened here? Uh, just output my review. Oh, sorry, input my review called submit, which called the predict function, and then the output windows displays the uh, uh, the actual outcome, right? Pretty cool. Let's try the other one. And yeah, just so you know, you know, if you do think Jar Jar is the most amazing character in the Star Wars universe, it's, you know, it's okay. It's like the pineapple on pizza thing. You know, it's it's not to be really debated. It's fine if you'd like to believe. Okay, and yes, I'm sorry to say this is a positive review, right? So there you go. Uh, and of course, we see our files here. And this is how much code we wrote, right? So I said about 10 lines. That's pretty much what it is, right? Uh, the predict function is something you would already have if you are fooling around with your model. And uh, the UI bit is really just two lines. So this is a really, really cool way to build uh, a quick web page that you can show to your stakeholders or your customers or just internally for for model testing and in fact uh, if you uh, if you go to uh, if you go to the uh, huggingface.co/spaces page you will find lots of uh, public spaces that our uh, community has built right so um, a, a, a whole bunch right i've just started going through them. Wine quality predictor. Oh, I'll check that. Uh, yes, lots of cool stuff. And I'm sure every single one of them looks better than my example, which is fine because you should be writing the great apps, right? Uh, hate speech detector. Super cool. Hebrew GPT. Mm, nice. Right? So go and check those out and, and start building your own. As you saw, this is really, really simple. Okay? All right, well, I think that's uh, what I wanted to show you today. So remember how we started. We started from uh, Auto NLP, right? Uh, which is as simple as filling in a few, uh, a, few, um, inform a few bits of information in here. Or of course, you can use the Auto NLP API, which is equally simple uh, if, you, if you want to automate those things. And then we built models. 
and uh, we took the best one and uh, we cloned it and used it in the notebook and more importantly we used it on uh, in spaces to build a small web page to test it how long did this take uh, well the longest bit was really you know the nlp process which took about two hours but you know you can do uh, you can do something else in between like write the spaces app i guess so in just a couple of hours uh, you can go from data set to web page that you can show and i think this is pretty cool right i think this is pretty cool and this is definitely a very productive way to do uh, machine learning and nlp so give it a try uh, let me know what you think leave some comments ask me questions reach out on twitter or you know anywhere you can find me and um and i'll be happy to help and if your company wants to know more and dive deeper into auto nlp and, and consider using it for production workloads get in touch as well okay well that's it for today i'll see you soon with more videos and until then have a good time and keep learning bye bye